this isn't a uh, this isn't just a showing you how to do something. It's my update to my channel. And I know I haven't been here in uh, well over a year. What we're gonna do while I talk is um, recenter this in the middle. I want to give it back to my mother. It's probably not a good idea to do it while it's in full bloom like that. But I can always cut it back for her so it can get fuller. Anyway, I haven't been here for a while because I had um, a case of the thrips. I really had thrips so badly that, um, well, I think they stunted my garden and killed half of it off. It took about a year to do it. I tried everything I possibly could, but uh, I was looking for if I had a light problem or, you know, I want to make sure that it's nice and, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I want to make sure that it's nice and loose soil all around it so it has a good chance to establish itself. And I'm also feeling for what its root system is, because I'm going to try to get under it to move it. I don't really want to disturb it too much. Anyway, so my issue is gone now. And it's just hydrogen peroxide, actually. And, uh, I was so busy. The reason why I won't be on camera right now is because I'm still getting over, I've lost so much weight that it's terrible. And I don't really want to be on the front of the camera because I don't want to remember this. And I don't want you to either. I don't want to be, uh, I don't want it to be on my channel for all time. I'll get the weight back on. But anyway, well that happened too. And then I got hit, I got monetized, and then I got hit. Make sure that you're very gentle with it and you try to get under as much of the root system as possible. After I got monetized, I got hit for my content. Now some of these roots in here, I'm not going to bother because they're going pretty deep. All I want to do is move it over here. So he will be happy right here. I don't know what I'm going to do while I talk to you now. Anyway, I got hit for used content. And I had to get rid of a year's worth of my content. And, uh, well, attached to that was all the watch hours that went with it too. So instead of having 10,000 hours of watch time, almost, I dropped down to less than 2,000. And I'm telling you what you guys did for me. Was well, like pulling a rabbit out of a hat. To come up with that kind of watch time in a matter of weeks is unheard of. Short of a miracle, really. And I just really wanted to say thank you for that. Because I thought it was going to take me quite a while to regain that back. But thanks to you, I. it wasn't even a month. And they accepted me that very day. So I just wanted to say thank you for that, for all of you, all of you. I appreciate that one of you. I appreciate the ten. I appreciate everything. I really, really do. We're going to make sure that this has some extra water. I made sure that they had a lot of water before I started, so it was easier to work with. And maybe it won't suffer so much trauma. I'm going to end up hitting this with recharge and it already has some people call them grow dots but that's not what mine are called mine are called uh, nectar of the gods one shot and that's what I use as a top dressing so every time I water my plant it goes down into the soil again I wanted to say thank you it really meant a lot to me I think you know that though I hope that you do and um I'm sorry for the content I had to lose that you liked. I didn't really want to see it go either. But I didn't really have time to dwell on that because I had to just keep going, you know? And that's with this channel. I gotta, I have to stop on my second channel because it's ridiculous for me while I'm trying to recover from COVID to try to get anything off the ground right now when I'm barely having I'm having a hard time just getting out the videos on my channel right now. And I think what I did silly, really, I should have listened to a lot of you, is I didn't get the sleep that I needed because I was just so afraid I'd get stuck and not be able to start again if I didn't just keep going. 
Um, what I did, I kept working feverishly, actually. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you know, I don't really express myself all that often. And uh, I, let's hope that that happens again as often as COVID comes back around. I know that would make me happy. But you, some of you did things for me that were so touching that I knew I didn't have to worry. I could just go to sleep and somebody was there to take care of things. And I didn't have to worry about that. I was just eternally grateful. And I would just take that and file that away. I would keep that because I don't do that very often. Anyway, sorry about that. Yes, I would be upset if somebody told me all those wonderful things. I know it sounds weird, but I would. Because I was a little too mushy. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Blessing. Thank you. I can't say your last name. Blessing Achoa. But you can just go to Bibalicious. Uh-huh. B-I-B-I-B-L-I-C-I-O-U-S. And she's a beautiful delicious. Anyway, she helps me so much. And she's been such a good friend to me. And I don't want anyone to feel badly because I didn't say any. It's just when somebody is telling you when you have COVID and you don't feel well and there's nobody there to help you. And I don't mean here in my house. I mean, I have this, I have this grief I run. And there was no way I could do it. But I was trying. But she told me to go to bed. And drink ginger tea. Oh, anyway, yuck. Um, it's probably because I told her to drink something else and hers when she was sick. Not knowing she didn't drink. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you and let you know that I'm really happy with my light. And it makes my plants grow at five times the rate they were growing before, at least. And um, that means they're needing to be watered more. Some of you have a misconception of what I'm doing. And you must understand that there's a difference between growing outside in a field or a garden and growing indoors. You see, I'm pretty much, some people like to simulate like a house plant being in a suitcase. And um, then you have to simulate a new life in there like outside. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing only in the house. So things are gonna grow smaller. And no, I don't need to have them in the ground. You'll see, the products I use are made for things, things that you grow in the house. And I do believe with the onions, it'll be fine if they're five inches apart in a five or three gallon bag, but we'll see. It's just an experiment. This helps you to have stuff in the house when the growing season is bad. And we've had some bad ones too, but um, it extends your growing season. You can get a better start on your growing season with just some lights. Or you can just have a salad garden all the time once I get it figured out what kind of light to use. But um, I appreciate all of you out there that garden and try to help me. I really, really do. But no, I really can't start over and like dig a hole on my floor. Okay, it's just not going to work like that. But I appreciate it. I do. And I appreciate that you pay enough attention that you uh, have something to say like that. And, um, no, he really didn't need me to do all this massaging and stuff, but I don't know what to do because I don't want you to be staring at a plant going, oh, this is very entertaining, Carol. I am sorry. I am sorry. This is only temporary. Isn't that pretty far? This is only temporary. But I'm sorry that I haven't done enough things. I will from now on. I just, uh, it was a real bear to take care of these plants when they had all those mites. It took me 10 hours a day for like six or seven months. And I lost, I lost like 40 jalapeno. I don't really want to go to the line with all the things I lost because I lost almost everything. That's why you've been watching me rebuild all this time. That's why we're planting all these seeds and doing all this stuff because I had to rebuild my garden back. So um, that's probably just about it because that's probably just about it, really. Um, I do have a lot of plans and stuff, but I can talk to you about that later. Because after a while, my throat begins to hurt. <laughs> and I do not want to go. Um, I decided on Philippines. I had it back out of uh, Thailand. 
So I'm my destination, my winter destination is going to be the Philippines. And there is over 7,100 and like, I don't know, seven or 10 different islands out there. And I did find the one McDonald's in Manila, but we're not happy there because it's a little busy. I want it to be like at the beach and stuff. And I like Boracay, but I have a lot of research to do. And I have to do this before I get it back to my mother for sure. See, they pop, I like that. I did this all with the plants in Chicago's little. I thought they were pretty like ballerinas. I don't let you go. I just needed to get this out, to be honest with you. I haven't done it in over a year. And it's the strangest the one I've ever done in my life. But I had to do it. I hope that it's a place to work. Come here. Come here. Come say hello. Come here. My hands are all dirty too. Say hello. Yeah, he's a nervous little thing. He is a very nervous little thing. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, friend. Come here, friend. Say hello. I don't think he'll smile for you, though. And I'm not going to make him. Come here. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. And I'll talk to you later. And we'll talk about the Philippines and everything else. But for right now, I just wanted to touch bases with you and let you know what was going on. And I do know some of you are upset about that content. And I'm almost leaning down to talk to you. It's observable. Um, I'm sorry. But thank you guys for all the help that you gave me. Thank you for being my friend. And thank you for everything that you left for me. I'm sure, I'm sure that you know, but I just wanted to tell you. So, I will speak to you later. You have yourselves a lovely day, and I will as well. I'll talk to you later. Bye.